hey guys uh, welcome back so in the last session we saw about model attribute annotation so now you know how a spring model data is managed and how it relates with the HTTP request attribute so how it forwards the data to that HTTP request attribute and we get the data in my view so I will just go on to my application once again run the application back so this was my application I was putting your username and my email so here it looks like so s dot this email id is printing but it's not printing over here so the problem with this was this the name the attribute over here doesn't match with the attribute present in my model so it's username over here and it's email sorry email id a is over here and here it is email id so this attribute name must match with that form name so if I change it over here it will look like this so this is small thing that you should always keep in mind okay looks good so now you have springs model data is so you know right how the spring data model is managed so there is another attribute at the rate session attribute that session attribute is used on a controller so we'll mainly write a session attribute over here in a controller so what this session attribute does so actually spring states that the session attribute annotation lists the values of model attributes should should be transparently or which should be hard codedly you can say stored in the session we if you want to store some model attribute based values or some model attribute and its values to a session we need to have a session attribute annotation okay so spring tr uh, tries uh, tr uh, tries to store th those values in inside springs mm -hmm. Uh, session attribute annotation so we can uh, so what I have done in my previous one I just I've just changed my code to store the model attribute value into a session attribute so I have my model attribute at my request and I am saving this value into a session attribute so to be more precise I just modified my code and added something like this so I want to print out all the model values, all the request based data <coughs> and all the session data. Okay. So Spring session attribute allows you to tell Spring that which of my model attributes will get copied to HTTP session before rendering the view so we can demonstrate it like this I have my session attribute annotation over my controller class so I want to store this value that means this inside a session attribute so this the model that it's returning okay so now we should be able to see what is the session object before after and during the execution of request handler or after the spring mvc has handled to http request okay so we'll run the application over here so till now no session is created so you can see over here during the execution of my handler method that is to do s you can see that the model has been added to the spring model attribute we can see the model see here this is added to the model attribute but it's not present until now in the session attribute okay so now the next page 
as soon as that view is rendered so in my case the view over here is index so as soon as this view is rendered so you can see over here this model attribute has been added to my session value the HTTP session now contains this model attribute over here okay see here this model attribute is over here now so the handler method is executed and the next page is rendered you can see the model attribute has been copied as an attribute inside the session attribute in the HTTP servlet session okay so now if I again go back and just run the same URL enter the same URL you can see over here my request the session data my request is present over here as well because at this moment the session is already created so as soon as the session is created it's available over the application context so now we have session data over here as well okay so this is how spring mbc session attribute works so we'll go back again so if you want to feed any session data over here you can do like this and my index.jsp what I have done is I just printed out the session parameters over here and in I want to print out the value so I have done it like this anger at the gmail.com because this was what it was set in the session see over here you can see so this was what it was set yes okay I can set one two three as well that's it rendered I think it's not loaded yes it's getting loaded right now so guys we have an session status as well to set the session to be completed we can use session status dot set complete to end the spring session so in order to wrap up the session so we have understood how a spring model and a session attribute works together it's just a matter of understanding how HTTP servlet and how HTTP session are used to store session model and session attributes so here I go I have used something different the structure that I used to use pr before is something different I've just called the model and the session request and session so this is how spring MBC works if you want to use a session attribute you can just go in and add an object over here with the session and if you want to add that object inside a session just initialize that with the help of session so I can write away if I, if I am adding an object MSG over here I can just go in over uh, the, the top of my controller and write an attribute at the rate session attribute MSG right so this is how I can write so sorry you can add a, just before okay you can add as many as session attribute over here so guys thank you for watching I hope I am a bit clear so you'll get more onto it until unless you dig in and get and so go and search about this so I've just given a hint how to work on it so guys thanks for watching thank you